this week, just recently, Justin Trudeau confirmed there's some news coming out of Ottawa. Justin Trudeau is going to introduce yet another bill that rumors in Ottawa are saying is going to further uh, regulate speech in Canada. So this bill has not yet been tabled. It, apparently it's going to be tabled next week, um, but it is widely being rumored that it's going to be sort of the third in the trilogy of censorship bills, Bill C-11, Bill C-18, and now this. So because these past bills that I just mentioned um, have resulted in things like news bans in Canada, you, you can't see the news on many social media platforms, um, and some of these bills actually legislate algorithms in terms of what you see and what you can't see, it's really important that you read the article that I've just written up that breaks down everything I'm, I'm about to say to you. The link is in the comments. It's on my Substack page. When you read that article, click subscribe. This is about a, another bill from Justin Trudeau that is going to attempt to regulate speech even more. I'm going to break it down for you in this video, but I need you to click on the link that's in the comments. If you're watching this in Facebook, the link is in the comments and click subscribe. It's free. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link is in the video description. Click subscribe. It's free. And what this allows me to do is through all of these censorship bills and Lord knows what's happening next week, I need to be able to directly communicate with you and get around these news bans, these algorithms that Justin Trudeau has put in place um, with these previous bills, these algorithmic changes. Okay, so what, what do we know? So this week, Justin Trudeau has said that he is going to introduce a bill in Parliament next week that has something to do with, quote, online harms. That's the term the Liberals are using, online harms. But he has not defined what that means. So if you remember, if you rewind about five years ago, just prior to the 2019 federal election, his Liberal government did table a proposal around quote online harms and it was so bad that like every flavor of civil society group possible said you cannot do this this is a huge incursion on freedom of speech the liberals pull it back they didn't reintroduce it after the 2019 election but now all of a sudden they are reintroducing this and this is after they've implemented these bills that have seen news be banned in canada so again i'm just going to repeat this throughout the video the link to the article that i've written up that describes everything it's got all the information that i've heard uh this week from rumors in ottawa from my own research the links in the comments click on that to read it but most importantly click subscribe because I need to be able to talk to you through this process so that you know what's going on as I get the information next week. So I'm gonna to read to you a little bit from the article. Um, what I'm hearing out of Ottawa is that this bill will potentially include controversial measures such as a redefined and broadened definition of hate speech. We don't know what that means. We don't know if it's in it yet, but Trudeau has not this is sort of the, the, the rumors that are floating around in Ottawa, and we don't have more details. Um, also rumored is a new government department with mandates to oversee, quote, digital safety. We don't know what that means. Again, this is a rumor, but that it, it is definitely something that we're hearing in Ottawa. And also new content restrictions for social media platforms to enforce on, his, on its users. And again, for those who are just joining the stream right now, this is a new bill that Justin Trudeau has promised will be introduced in Parliament next week. We've not seen the content yet, but Mr. Trudeau has been very, very, very sketchy on the details. He was clear, though, about one thing. So this week he appeared on Alberta radio show, um, uh, talk show host Ryan Jesperson show, and he gave this sort of rambling interview and he i i think the, sh the the host asked him i know the host asked him about this bill and he, when asked like why it was necessary he said the following he said um that he, he suggested that the the loss of mainstream media like traditional media ctv cbc he mentioned those two explicitly that the loss of their monopoly on information distribution in in canada um 
it has led to the, I'm just reading here, the loss of the public actually agreeing on a common set of facts as presented by those outlets. So in saying this, you know, he really said the quiet part out loud. This, he's presenting this legislation, which again, we don't have the details on yet, but it will be tabled next week as a way of essentially, it, it, you know, under the guise of online harms, whatever that means, that at least part of the motivation for this bill is to ensure that mainstream and legacy media, which is now, you know, it has massive subsidies from the liberal government that never used to exist, but well, to a certain extent, but way more now that, that he, he stated that part of the need for this legislation was because the public now has so many platforms to disseminate news on that, that aren't CTV or CBC, let's say. So again, I need you to click on the link in the comments or in the video description, click subscribe. And all of this information is in that article. I need you to share the article and I need you to stay on top of the potent, this bill potentially being introduced in the House of Commons next week. Um, I want to be really clear, like there are things, there, there are issues that need to be addressed by the Liberal government. There is a huge crime wave across Canada. Uh, you know, there's articles this week about uh, car thieves and alleged car thieves in Montreal being released because of delays in the criminal justice system. Uh, there's very high profile murder in Calgary of a woman by her ex-partner uh, who had, had violated the terms of a no contact order many times. Um, I've written extensively about the need to look at ways to tighten up uh, our existing laws around non-consensual intimate image distribution, uh, given the rise of deep nudes. But Justin Trudeau's not doing any of this, right? Like Justin Trudeau's own laws that he's put in place has made it easier for criminals to get out on bail, catch and release system. Justin Trudeau was, you know, he, he, he sort of played footsie with the whole defund the police movement, right? And now we're seeing the fruits of, of, of eight years of this with a massive crime wave in Canada. And instead of dealing with those issues, we know that he's been focused on bills like C-11 and C-18, which has have restricted speech in Canada. They really have. I mean, to put it in perspective, these bills have made sure that you cannot see news on meta platforms, right? So... It's really important that any legislation that Justin Trudeau puts forward that purports to protect the public is viewed in the lens of his past actions on speech, particularly in light of Bill C-11 and Bill C-18. I have broken this down for you in great detail. I have given you everything that I know about this so far. It is in the link in the comments, the article, Click subscribe so that I can stay in touch with you. Because again, like as Bill C-18 passed, you know that like you can't see the news on meta platforms now, right? And we know that a lot of these platforms have algorithmic bias to prevent you from seeing cer certain types of content. So that's why it's so important that you subscribe to sources of information that provide a divergence of opinion and a divergence of information. And then you the viewer and the audience make informed critical thinking decisions on 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 how to form opinions in this country and and that is that is what Justin Trudeau when he on Jesperson's show there that's what he was saying that you can't do right Justin Trudeau through C11 through C18 through comments like he was talking about there is, is rather than saying you know how, how can how can we as a country support critical thinking support more access to information support um, you know, additional tools that, that empower the public to evaluate information. He's saying, no, 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 I need to infantilize you, the viewer, by making sure that the government has more tools and more powers to restrict speech and the information that the public consumes. And why does he want to do this? Well, I mean, look, I mean, look at all the scandals that he's had. Do you think that it benefits Justin Trudeau or you to have more information or less. And that's why it's just, you know, the fact that this government's track record on crime and preventing crime is so bad. Like, I mean, it, 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 for them to suggest that any bill that, you know, 
potentially could regulate speech further is, is, is to prevent that. Their track record suggests otherwise. So we have to be very skeptical, very um, skeptical is the best word about any legislation that the liberal government, that Justin Trudeau puts forward that could regulate speech. We have to ask, why is he doing this? Um, is, is this necessary? Are there other laws that are on the books that are equally as good, but that the Liberals just aren't enforcing? Those are the questions that Parliament needs to be asking um, as, as you know, Justin Trudeau puts forward something that is rumored to create more institutions and regulations that will regulate speech in the country. I want to be very clear. Um, hate speech as defined in the criminal code, like, it is very serious. No person should be inciting violence against others. And, you know, like, I just worry as I think Pierre Polyev, the leader of the Conservative Party, said, said it the best. Justin Trudeau thinks that hate speech is speech that he hates, which is fundamentally different than what is in the criminal code. So, guys, this is coming. This is imminent. Um, it is something that we have to prepare to fight against if there are provisions that... Um, benefit Justin Trudeau and do not benefit you, as we've seen in the past with his bills C-18 and C-11. So we've got to gear up. How do we do that? Share this video. Um, help it, By sharing this video, it helps me get the word out that this is coming. And also, when you click subscribe on my Substack, it allows me to directly communicate with you outside of algorithms, outside of censorship bills. It is free to click subscribe. Um, and I will be coming to you via that forum with more information as I get it. But I think it is right and just for Canadians to be extremely skeptical about the motivations of Justin Trudeau anytime he talks about putting restrictions on speech in Canada, because we've seen where C-11 and C-18, his previous bills, have taken us, and they've not taken us to a good place. Working hard for you. Have a great day.